this Sunday, a COVID crisis out of control. I actually believe they're going to be the most difficult time in the public health history of this nation. Record hospitalizations. Once they get to us, we're not seeing a lot that make it out of here. Record number of cases. I think we have not yet seen the post Thanksgiving peak. Record number of deaths. My dad taught me so much about life, but never how to live without it. Healthcare workers overworked and falling ill. When we're gone, there's just nobody that's going to take care of you when you're in the hospital. And that should scare everyone. This morning, I'll talk to Dr. Deborah Burks, White House Coronavirus Response Coordinator. Plus, after months of discord, help from Congress may finally be on the way. There is momentum. There is momentum. Compromise is within reach. But will it be enough? Democratic Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia joins me. And President Trump holds a rally for the two Republican senators in Georgia's January runoff. They cheated and they rigged our presidential election, but we will still win it. Focusing more on his own personal grievances than in helping the actual candidates. It has to stop. Someone's going to get hurt. Someone's going to get shot. Someone's going to get killed. I'll talk to Georgia elections official Gabriel Sterling. Joining me for insight and analysis are NBC News national political correspondent Steve Kornacki, Kimberly Atkins, senior opinion writer for the Boston Globe, Reuters White House correspondent Jeff Mason, and Danielle Plutka of the American Enterprise Institute. Welcome to Sunday. It's Meet the Press. From NBC News in Washington, the longest running show in television history, this is Meet the Press with Chuck Todd. Good Sunday morning. Consider what has happened over the past week. 